Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Guys, we've been moving right along with the storyline and I'm seeing some of these white ones come up. Which are not really in the actual mission part of it, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it to you anyway. So uh, before we get started, I want to thank every again, everyone again for their ongoing support, the views of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And as always, let's kick this bitch. If you guys remember last time we dealt with Levi Strauss, he was, or Leopold Strauss, he was lending money. We had to go collect it, so let's see what we got. Alright, I can't greet his ass or what? Uh, Leopold, I'm right here, Dick. Ah, Herr Morgan, Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well, well enough, I sense. guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. You ain't Here's the list. Refinery things. worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> All right, let's go get him. First stop, we'll go straight back in the roads. We're close to it. I guess I can. Arthur. Go over here. Arthur. What? I'm in the middle of something. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, oh, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Well, guys, we were going to do the money lending, but I ended up talking to Dutch, so that kind of screwed everything up. We'll go back to the money lending, though. I just might make this one long video. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Well, good, it's in town, so maybe we can get both done. Come on, pal. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Yeah, right. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't.
Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. The house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Come on. Why am I gonna inspect this note? My spider senses are going off. We should get going. I think this is where this one is. Yours. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go, boy. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought right. you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> See? He must have crossed over the tracks. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What's wrong, Arthur? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> We're, uh... We're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here! Oh, you son of a bitch. I guess I'll block now. Who do you think you are? Well, you got uh, his head. You stay there. It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Should do it. Yep, I see. Come on, let's go. Hey, boy. <laughs> Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? 
Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You right. think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. That must be it. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him. And get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on.
All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm. Oh, I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Trelawney, where are you? Might you wait for me? <laughs> Was afraid you didn't want to join me. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. What's up, mate? Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. Mm -hmm. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take okay. Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. I have not seen it. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but... I want to throw him that well, Even that ain't the way I remember it. Don't throw him. Found his ass. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? Hmm. Seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. 
It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, well uh, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. What? All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? Yeah. I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint it. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Ah, it better pumpkins be. Ain't cauliflower. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Oh, you should have come up with a better one than that. Right? Up here. We ain't Damn. too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. Mm. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Easy. Where's the clothing at? All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. Come on. I'm loading up. There's a corpse down here, an old one, a 
mess around with me, boy. How much is this cougar eat? Another body. She got it. crap. Damn, dead, dead. Couldn't have been that easy. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Let's get... Wait. Yeah. there, friend. How can I help you? Now we're here on our next bounty. Or not bounty, but our next debtor. Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Gwen Hughes? Better have the money. Instead of picking out a box for yourself, if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... 
Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing Church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. How's he doing? Digging up? Oh, no. Are you digging up somebody? Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. What? Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my own. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Some marked in yellow. Hello there. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time too. The place was in need of some care and attention. All right, now piss off. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, <laughs> bastard. I'm gonna beat you. Let's go, mister.
spot, you dumbass. There. Ah, uh, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. Evening, Arthur. Listen, uh, Dutch, <clears throat> can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... I'll think about it. Thank you. Here. I'll do whatever you say. Always. Good evening, Arthur. What are you trying to pull here? Right you are. How's it going? Don't you tell him a thing about that money. I ain't a fool, Arthur. I know. I just don't trust him. Alright guys, so there we go. We got the debtor's money back in the uh, kitty. Took a while. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this one. Sorry, it's a long video, but we did two for the price of one. So until next time, this is Snapshot reminding you to keep on gaming. See you soon.